Um, now, you may have seen, obviously, in the, the little pre-show titles that we showed there, we are going to be discussing male suicide. And this is, of course, because of you, June. Mm. This is your, your first time, obviously, back on the show yeah. since the passing of your brother, Sam. Mm -hmm. We know how difficult this is going to be for you, and mm. we're, we're so, so sorry about your loss. And you're being incredibly brave to want to come on air and talk about this today. Yeah. How are you? Uh, it's horrible. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. I mean, it's been such a tough time for my family and I, and 2015 was the worst year of our lives, like the worst. Nobody could have ever predicted this. When did it happen, June? Uh, October 26. But what I want to first of all say is um, a huge thank you uh, to everyone. I mean, we have been truly humbled by the outpouring of public support and all of the wonderful messages that we've received. Um, and I also want to talk about who my brother was as a person, which I think is so important that he be remembered for the amazing human being that he was, as opposed to being defined by his final act, mm. an act that he had no control over, um, and also the problem with suicide when somebody takes their life, is that is the thing that everybody focuses on, yeah. as opposed to who the person was. Because he'd given no, no signs, signs at all. Nobody, that this, could have been this is his the mind. last person that you would have ever associated this with. I mean, the last. He really was, I mean, in a world full of seven billion people, I feel so blessed to be able to say that my favorite person in the world was my brother. I mean, he was so good. He was such a kind, kind human being. Who just loved people and who treated everybody the same yeah. and was the life and soul of the party. And whenever you had a problem, he was the guy you turned to. Yeah. And, you know, the thing that really sort of brought it home to us just how loved he was was at his memorial. Over 2,000 people turned up to celebrate his life. And he was one of those people, if you ever met him, you would never forget him. Yeah. And at school, he was the popular guy, but he still hung out with the geeks when it wasn't cool to be a geek. You know, that's who he was. And when I tell you, we are shell-shocked because there were no signs, nothing that could lead anybody to believe that this was even possible. It's weird, isn't it, June? Because I know you've talked about your brother before this happened and he was you know a sports star at yeah. school he was a model yeah. he was a tv presenter yeah and a lot of people from the outside would look and say what did he have to worry about yes. in life yes. and, yeah. and where where do, do you think that this i mean we need to say he he jumped off a bridge yeah, didn't he? he did where did this really i don't know awful terrible act come from all we know that when I tell you there were no signs, no. this was a happy Didn't guy. Pressure, no, was not at all. No, it wasn't on medication. Doesn't even drink. No. Like nothing. Mm. All we know is that on the day it happened, something just took over his mind. So the Sammy that we knew was not the boy on that bridge. You know, mm. the, the the person who jumped off the bridge was not the man that we had loved for over 40 years. Mm. And it's almost like it was a moment of ma something just went off yep. and he lost complete control of his, his mind. And unfortunately, when it happened, the police wouldn't let my father up there, so he was there on his own. For seven hours for he was on the bridge, wasn't he? Oh, terrible for your dad as well being oh, there and not being able to go and talk the to him. Worst. And you just cannot associate this no. with him. And the thing that I want to say is for anyone wanting to console somebody that's going through grief, you really have to be careful how you do it because you can make things worse. What you don't understand is when you're saying you want to see a person, 
that person has to have this conversation yeah. again Every and again time, and yeah. again and it and the thing that happens with something like this is it takes away all your energy you're yeah. completely wiped out like complete i've experienced emotions that i didn't even know were humanly possible mm. like mm. And the only thing that gets me through the day, because some days you just don't, you just can't believe it's real, yeah. is my faith, is, is a belief in God, is my Christian faith. And reading Psalm 23, reading Psalm 91, to just be able to just know that there's something, there's a, there's a being that's just going to get us through it because you, you just can't do it on your it's own. It's funny, isn't it? Because a lot of people watching this would say that it would shake any faith that they had in God that something like this happened. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing that people would say is, how could a God allow this? And that I can't answer because I can assure you I'm asking that question myself. Mm. But in terms of what enables me to just be able to get up in the morning... Mm. Is your faith? Yeah.